I also want to thank everyone who has come out in support of public education, who have come out on behalf of our community, who are here because they recognize the power and necessity of truth seeking and truth speaking in order to provide an education that best serves each individual student in JPS. I want to thank those who understand that racial disparities exist and the only way to eliminate those racial disparities is to face them. Thank you all for being here. Jackson, Pul Jackson Public Schools is better because of your concern and care for our student body, our parents, and our dedicated teachers. I'm going to deviate from my notes for just a minute because I am overwhelmed with the support of my community. Um, I am overwhelmed with the way that you all showed up for me tonight. I am overwhelmed that the things that I have done in this community, the messages that I have put out there, the teachings that I have uh, given, that you all have received them, thank you. I can't say thank you enough. Love thank you. you. Thank you. What I expect and hope that we as individuals who respect the Constitution and each other's rights um, under it would do is to one, learn to ignore tweets that are disagreeable to you. Two, fully read the tweet and attempt to understand it. Three, choose to be a part of the solution so that in time, the tweet could no longer be factually true. We have to ask ourselves, what are we angered over? The fact that it was said or the fact that it is true or is the issue our incomprehension of how policies and practices established by the white majority are impacting each of us? And the last of the real issues is an attempt to silence the discussion around disparities along racial lines that exist not only in this district, this city, our county, or our state, but across this nation. We must educate ourselves more, understand how these racial disparities are impacting us and our neighbors, and not let them be successful in silencing us. 